What is going on guys, it's Drakesy and just a quick one before today's video does start, be sure to subscribe to the channel because when we reach a thousand subscribers we're going to be doing a giveaway on the channel. The giveaway is going to be for a gift card, whether that be on Microsoft or Sony, the gift card will depend on the platform that you're on. So if you do want a chance to enter this competition, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. What is going on guys, my name is Drake and welcome back to another best possible squad builder on the channel. Today's squad builder is going to be one of the most peculiar ones I've ever done, it's going to be the best possible Bulgaria squad builder. Now, I believe in past FIFAs this has not been possible because certain players aren't in certain positions. Basically, like in last year, I don't think Bulgaria had a goalkeeper on the game, so we couldn't make a best possible squad. But this year, they have all the players in all the positions that you need, just some of them are kind of low rated. But without any further ado, let's get into this best possible Bulgaria squad builder. We're going to revisit this at the end of FIFA 18 to see if there's been any informs as well. So for the time being, this is the best possible squad builder. There might be other informs added, but we will revisit it at the end of the year. So be sure to subscribe to the channel when we do that. But without any further ado, let's get into the team. So the goalkeeper to start off this team is this guy named Evtimov, I think is how you would say his name, and as we can see, he's starting the team off quite low rated. He's a 60 rated non-rare bronze goalkeeper card, playing for Nottingham Forest, 1 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, no stats that are really standing out. His best stats on his card are his handling and positioning at 62 and 60, but still, respectively, Kind of not the card that you really want to be getting in your team, but for what his rating is, an alright card. Moving up to the centre-backs of the team, we've got this guy named Gads Gadshalov. Gadshalov, I think is how you would say his name. And as we can see, he is a 59 rated bronze centre-back in this team. I'm not sure on the team that he's playing for, I think it is a Scottish team, correct me if I am wrong. But as we can see, he's got 2 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, 60 pace on his card, not too bad, 65 physical, but 59 defending, also not too bad for the rating that he is, but still, once again, what you expect from a low rated bronze. Moving across from him, we have the next player into the team, and that's going to be this guy named Haristov. As we can see, Haristov, once again, is yet another bronze. I swear this team does get better, but as we can see, 61 rated overall. A non-rare bronze, not blonde, um, a non-rare bronze playing for Fury and Tina. Two-star skill moves, three-star weak foot, and as we can see, pace not the best, kind of what you expect, but 63 defending and 65 physical make him a solid card for what he is, but still, pace could be a little bit stronger if anything. So as I did say, the team does get better. The next player into the team is going to be this guy named Zanev. As we can see, Zanev is a pretty good card this year for what we've got so far in this team. He's a 68 rated rare silver centre back, two star skill moves, three star weak foot, playing for Bulgaria and I'm not too sure on that team. I don't, I don't think I've actually even seen that logo. So if you guys know it, let me know in the comment section below. But as we can see, he's got 59 pace on his card, 65 dribbling, 67 defending, 60 passing and 70 physical, making him probably the best card so far, but still not the worst, but still not the best. The next acquisition into the team is going to be this guy named Chokhev. Chokhev, I think so you say it, I might be wrong again, but once again, another silver into the team, 72 rated, non-rare silver, playing for a team that I've never even seen the crest of before again. It's a pretty cool badge to be fair to it, a feather on a pink background, kind of like the look of it overall. Uh, but yeah, still not quite sure on the team, but as we can see, this guy's got 2 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot, 70 dribbling, 71 uh, physical, and then he's also got 69 on passing, so a pretty more all-round well-looking card, but still, pace is a bit weak. Moving on from Chokhev now to the next centre defensive mid and that's going to be this guy named Slavchev, I think is how you would say his name. He's a non-rare silver, 70 rated centre defensive mid, not sure on the team again but he's got 2 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot and as we can see looking at his card, he's got 59 pace, 68 for dribbling, defending and physical and then 62 on passing so once again not the highest rated card but definitely a pretty solid one. 
Now we move back to the right mid, and as we can see, we have Delev. This guy's a 70 rated right mid, once again playing for a team I have no idea of. I really need to do more research on some of these teams. But as we can see, he's got 3 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot, 84 pace, which isn't too bad, 72 dribbling, 70 shooting, and then 64 physical, which isn't too bad, once again, on a winger player. But that 19 defending is absolutely just outstanding how low it is but as we can see that's the right mid Delev now we move across to the left mid and the guy on the other side of the pitch is this guy Milanov as we can see yet another silver so close to being a gold but he is still in fact a silver he's a 73 rated left mid non-rare silver playing for um I think is it UCKA Moscow I'm not too sure on that team I'm, I definitely know they're a Russian team but as we can see he's got three star skill moves four star weak foot 78 pace 73 dribbling 71 passing and all round some pretty good stats in the 60s and 50s not too bad for a card either now we move up to the only gold in this team and as we can see it's the 77 rated non-rare gold card Popov. He's a centre attacking mid playing for once again I believe that's a Russian team but not sure on who they are. I think it might be Spartak Moscow might be incorrect with that but 3 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 79 pace, 75 dribbling, 73 shooting, 74 passing and 70 physical on that card making him pretty solid overall once again. Now we move up to the penultimate player and this penultimate player is in fact this guy Bozhinov, I think so you would say his name. As we can see Bozhinov is a non-rare silver 69 rated striker, not sure on the crest as per usual with me and this team. 3 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 67 pace, 71 dribbling, 69 shooting, 62 passing and 72 on physical but once again 19 defending just like the right, knee, right mid uh, Delev so there must be a consistency with Bulgarian players and 19 defending, conspiracy theory proven. And to wrap up the team we have this guy Galabinov as we can see, he's a 70 rated striker, rare silver card playing for Genoa I believe. A Bulgarian player as we can see he's got three star skill moves two star weak foot 55 pace making him kind of slow for a striker but he does have 70 shooting and 77 physical to back that up once again very low defending on a card but still overall pretty solid as a card obviously not your fastest player but definitely physical and got a decent shot on him as well so yeah this being the best possible Bulgaria squad in FIFA 18 Thank you very much for watching guys, if there are any more improvements in this squad in forms I will come back to it but for now this is the best squad, thank you very much for watching and see you in a bit guys.